Okay, so for me, it was Revelation uh, 22. I was listening. I don't know. Somebody had sent me something or I was researching something. I don't know. But I was in Revelation 21. And so in the morning, I always push play in the Bible. And I just listen to it wherever I'm at. And so I push play and it was at Revelation 21. So then I'm listening and it goes on to 22 and it gets to the end and it's like, blessed are those in 14, blessed are those who wash their robes. They will be permitted to enter through the the gates of the city and eat the fruit from the tree of life. Outside the city are the dogs, the sorcerers, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idol worshipers, and all who love to live a lie. And that last line right there, all who love to live a lie. I was like, wow. How many times are we pretending to be what we think everybody wants us to be, right? And But we're not really that. And God knows it. Like he knows the depths of our soul. This goes back to what are you on the inside, right? Because he knows all that. And I think to myself, I was like, man, God, if I'm living a lie in any way, shape or form, expose it. Like expose it so I don't end up with the dogs because I want to go to your city. I want to be in your presence. And I can't imagine getting to heaven and being like, yep, I deserve this because I actually was living a lie, you know? And like that was just a whole thing to me in my just time with God. And I just spent time praying with him about it. And like, I think those are the moments where the scripture becomes real to us. And I just encourage anybody, if you are, when you're spending your time with God, let him just work with you because he will. I feel like he's so faithful. If there's something that we need to know or there's something we need to think through, or maybe God knew that this was all going to, I mean, God knows everything, right? So God knew, and maybe somebody that's going to watch this really needs to hear, am I living a lie? Am I surrounding myself with the wrong people? Am I surrounding myself with drunkards and idolaters and all the things that it listed in here, right? All the things that God says that he hates. Am I, am I surrounding myself with that? I know when I removed a lot of different sex out of my life, I felt super isolated and alone and like I didn't have any friends. And so I think that's where we as the body of Christ have to stand up with one another so that we don't feel like we're living a lie. So we feel like we have a community. That's why we come to church, right? So that's all I got for you guys today.